Welcome into another video, everyone. Today, we're going to be analyzing and reviewing all of Chapter 2's biggest hidden secrets and everything you need to know when playing in the brand new Chapter 2. And before we hop into the video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of Chapter 2 Remix. One of the first most important things to Chapter 2 is this hidden generator in the dog pound. If you destroy this generator, it'll take out power to the entire facility. So this will disable security cameras, turrets, everything. As you see when I walk out here, there is no more turret. This also is the same thing at the yacht. There's also a security generator here that you can destroy and it'll take out all of the power. So then you'll be safe to open up the vault and get all the good loot at these spots. All you have to do is simply destroy these generators. It'll show you the powers off. It'll be a little bit of a fire effect. Then when you and your teammates kill the boss, for example, here we're killing Snoop Dogg, you can get it super easily and you'll not be have to worry about the security cameras or the turrets. As you see here, we just simply go down into the vault and it's super safe and the security cameras won't even shoot at you because you destroyed that generator. It becomes super easy to loot up and you can just get super great loot from the new amazing vaults from the Snoop Dogg Dog Pound and the Yacht Agency and you can get all of this amazing loot. The next important secret of Chapter 2 is the hidden I.O. base under Pleasant Park. So this is located right under the soccer pitch at Pleasant Park. A lot of people have no idea this exists. So you simply go into this garbage can and you'll be teleported right to the hidden I.O. base. Then simply go inside the changing booth and you have two mythical chests right off spawn all to yourself. Here I e easily scan on the I.O. chest and I didn't get the best loot from that, but even if you don't get one, there's still multiple IO chests in this basement. As you can see here, MJ opens up the chest and I can simply just steal his legendary scar straight from him. And then simply enough, that's how you can loot up. And then you can just exit through that porter potty. Then there's also loot around towards the back end with a lot of chests. And you can even knock the shadow henchmen and get good loot off them. And then you can also use the shadow henchmen to open up the other chests as well. So here I was in a separate game and I didn't know that you could go inside that changing booth and simply I just knocked the IO guard and I got a purple RPG right off spawn. Easy as that. It is a super easy way to get really good loot and then you can simply just use the IO guard to shake him down. You can steal his loot, you can get his blue AR, blue shotgun, blue SMG or you can just scan him as you see here. Mason scanning himself, opens it up and you get a ton of good stuff. Also here, the roof is actually not real, so you can shoot RPGs and guns straight up onto your opponents, which is really good. Another awesome hidden secret in Chapter 2 is located east of Weeping Woods at this ghost POI. You can get a free mythical chest off spawn for doing nothing. All you have to do is simply kill the ghost henchman here, then you just finish them, and you can get super good loot too from the ghost henchman, uh, blue SMGs, blue ARs, everything. So you just go down, you need to kill the bots, and then simply you can go to get a free mythic chest. This spawns 100% of the time, no matter what, as you can hear on my screen, you just go around here through the ghost POI, you go through this door, then you go through this door and you can see that it's super easy. You just grab the chest for free and then you can place a ramp so the turrets do not shoot you. And my other game, however, I did not know that there were turrets when you open up the chest. So I landed here, got a stink bomb, just like regular. I have a Tommy gun. You can just simply easily kill the IO guards. Once you have them finished, then just make sure you finish them and then you should be safe to go down to the mythical chest. Here you just get great guns off spawn at the shadow base. Then you just go over to the mythical chest, which is in the room right over here. And then you can just open it up. And this was my first game, so I had no clue about the turrets and I kind of forgot to build here. <laughs> So the turrets ended up taking me out. Another trick a lot of people seem to have forgot about is just make sure whenever you knock the shadow guards, you open them up using the chest. It's a little glitch right now, but you can get really great loot for doing nothing. Just knocking one guard and picking them up and scanning them on chest. This is one of the best strategies to get good loot straight off spawn. You can see I'm off spawn here at the rig and you can get really easy good loot like a green tack and then you can use that. And then whenever you make sure you knock opponents, make sure you shake them down. Now this hidden secret is actually on the brand new reload map. We got our very own Diplodocus POI. This is a mix between Moisty Myers and the new Desert Biome. You can see here, you have a ton of brand new dinosaurs, which is obviously a huge hint at Ali A's Diplodocus meme. The dinosaurs have taken over this taco stand and they've started invading all of the OG Moisty Myers. You can see there's massive Triceratops and T-Rexes all located around. 
You can see here there's even babies guarding a chest, which is super cute. This is a huge hidden secret that Fortnite is referencing Ali A with T-Rexes and a bunch of different dinosaurs. Another hidden secret is also on the reload map. There's a mythical chest that spawns here a hundred percent of the time. So you just grapple up, grab the mythic chest, and there's a whole secret room basement to this mine shaft. There's even a brand new vending machine here that you can use and get super good loot for you and your squad if you're ever playing in tournaments. This is a hidden spot and it is like a uh, shifty shafts, but desertified. So there's a whole different POI and reload that you can use and get a free mythical chest every single time you land there. The next secret is located on the chapter two map at Lazy Lakes. We're in the top two houses. And if you didn't know, there's a secret underground pathway to each of the two houses in Lazy Lake. So you just go to the basement and you can meet up with your teammates that loot together. And then there's a hidden secret room right in the basement. The next hidden secret is located right next to Dirty Docks. If you swim far out into the ocean, you can see a chest sticking up out of the ground. If you go under the water, you can see that it is Trochosaurus from chapter one, located right under the sea, which no one even knew about. You can also do the one chest challenge from here, and people have said that the loot from that chest is way better. You can see that it is Trochosaurus from the OG chapter one island. The next hidden secret has to do with the Midas drum gun from the Dog Pound. If you didn't know, whenever you pick it up, it plays a hidden tune to it in the Dog Pound. So here, me and my teammates fight Snoop Dogg straight off spawn to get the Midas drum gun while getting c 4 by enemies. We simply kill Snoop Dogg. I mantle up here. I am getting stink bomb, but it's fine. But whenever you pick up the brand new Midas drum gun, it plays a hidden little tune. As you can hear there is a brand new little Midas drum gun tune. If you didn't know also, the Midas drum gun has one of the fastest fire rates in the game, just like the OG drum gun. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great one for the rest of your day. Make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you learned a lot about the hidden secrets of Fortnite Chapter 2.